Hi guys, just a quick video demonstrating how to use Luma Installer to install Luma custom firmware onto a 3DS console running the new 11.8.0-41 firmware that was recently released. As you can see on this console, this is official 11.8.0-41 firmware, the new firmware that's just come out. So I'm going to use Luma Installer to do a fresh install on this console. So what you will need for this is Luma Installer, an R4 card that is NTR boot capable, and a magnet, such as this one just here. So, first things first, download the software, make sure you've got all the tools you need, remove the card, or power down the 3DS device, and remove the SD card from it, and insert it into your computer. Okay, so with the SD card now inserted into the computer, load my software, Luma Installer, select the SD card from the list. You do not need to worry about Luma version, apps, homebrew, or games, or anything else yet, because this stage they won't be copied yet anyway. Now, if you haven't got this software yet, the link is in the description. If you have the older version of this software, which doesn't have 11.8 support, download the new version from the link in the description. Once you've got that and you're ready to go, just push start. Now, wait for the transfers to complete. Once it's done, remove the card from the computer, and let's head back to the 3DS. Okay, so with the SD card reinserted back into the 3DS console, it's now time to insert your R4 card. Now, it has to be NTR boot capable. So once your R4 card's in, locate the sleep spot on your 3DS. Now, in order to locate it, look, I'll give a quick demonstration. The sleep spot is the point that you're going to place a magnet, and it's going to force your console to go into sleep mode, as if you close the lid. So to find that, get your magnet, and find around the bottom corner here, find the spot that when you put the magnet there, it turns off. When you move it, it will turn back on. So that there is my sleep spot for my particular console. Now, most 3DS consoles, it's the bottom right corner. It really is, it's the magnet up here in the speaker that activates it when you close the shell. So it's around where it's going to land is the sleep spot. Okay, so once you have your sleep spot located, shut the console off. If it will work, there we go. Put the magnet on the sleep spot, remembering to have the R4 card inserted and the SD card ready to go after this first stage on my program. From here, you want to hold down Start, Select, X, and Power. Now, this can be a little bit finicky to go, so hold it down for a few seconds, and we want to release it. Now, if done correctly, it'll boot into the menu like this. Otherwise, it won't work. We'll have to try again. Once you get it to this menu, you can remove the magnet here. You don't need that anymore. Now, it asks you to enter a key combination. In my case, the key combination is left, down, right, up, A. So I'm going to enter that now and let it do its job. Okay, there we go. Success. Push A to continue. There we go. So from here, just hold down the power button until it turns off. On this particular console, it's a little bit slow. Holding down the power button can take a while. So when it does turn off, we will just transfer the SD card back to the computer and head on with the next stage. There we go. Okay, with the SD card back in the computer, it's now time for the second stage. From here, you want to choose what version of Luma you want. Now, if you're running 11.7.04, um, you can use Luma 9. You can use the new one recommended, 9.1, if you like on that. It won't work. 9.1 will is the only one that will work on 11.8. If you have 11.8 firmware and you try using 9.0, it will not run. You need to use this one. That's, that's what this is on about, telling you here. You also want to choose what apps and home would require. Now... Be warned, from what I've heard, free shop, using FreeShop on 11.8.0-41 will get you banned. Uh, so don't install it. If you've got 11.8, do not use FreeShop. If you're running 11.7, do not update. Install custom firmware, install this one on 11.7 if you can, then you can use FreeShop. If you're using 11.8, do not install FreeShop at this stage until it's been verified that it's safe or a newer, safer version has been released, etc. Uh, Anemone, Checkpoint, and FBI do install those. They're all kind of required for this install anyway. So once you've got that and you're good to go, click Continue. Now, you don't choose games at this stage yet because they're not going to be copied this stage anyway. That's the next stage. So Continue. Wait for the transfers to complete.
Okay, once they're copied, remove the SD card from the computer. Let's go back to the 3DS. Okay, put the SD card back on the console, power the device back on, and you'll see this. This is the Luma 3DS configuration menu. So from here, go down to Show NAND or User String in System Settings and select this. I also like to set my splash settings to before because I intend to set up a splash screen later in the install. Now, if you don't wish to do this, don't bother setting that. Or if you wish to come back here at a later date, hold down select when you're powering the device and it will bring you back to this menu so you can change it later. Once you set this up how you would like it, push start, the console will boot up as per normal. Okay, so from here, let's go on to settings. Internet settings, spot pass, sending of usage information, and select that to no, and push OK. When you get back here to the main menu, you'll see that we are on SYS 11.8.0-41E. This means we're on custom firmware on the new update. So push close. Now launch the download play application. Okay, once you're in here, hold down L, this bumper here, down, and push select. It'll bring up this. This is called the Rosalina menu. Now you go down to miscellaneous options, switch the HB title to current app, and select this. It'll say operation succeeded. Push B a few times to get back to the main menu, and then push home to go to the home screen. From here, push X to close that program, and then A to relaunch it. This time, it'll launch into the Homebrew Launcher. So we choose FBI from this list, and wait for it to load. From here, we go to SD, CIAs, Current Directory, Install and Delete all CIAs, and select yes. It'll now install all the packages. So you've got the theme and uh, splash manager, Anemone, checkpoints to save file manager so you can update save files, that sort of stuff. Um, DSP1's for your sound, FBI is what you're using right now to do the installs. It's also for installing games which you'll need to use if you're using 11.8 because FreeShop, this program, will not work properly on 11.8. If you try using this, apparently you will get banned. So do not use FreeShop on 11.8. Homebrew Launcher, which is what we used to get into here this time. Luma 3DS Updater. There we go. Okay. You push B a few times to get back. And then push Start to exit. And push the Home Screen. Home button. Push X to close this. You see new software has been added. So let's go and unwrap our presents. Now the one we're interested in at the moment is the DSP1 this one here, DSP1 firm dumper. So find this one and run it. Okay, so once it's finished, push B to delete this application and exit to the home menu. Self delete success. Done. Okay, so from here, power off your device. Now hold down start button and power it back on while holding start. This time it'll launch into God Mode 9. Okay, now if you're prompted to create an essential files backup, push A to do so, and then push A again once it's completed. I've already done this on mine, so it won't be asked. Now if you're prompted to fix the RTC date and time, push A now to do so and set the date and time accordingly, then push A to continue. Note that if you are asked to do it here, you're going to be asked. You're going to have to do it again in the settings menu later, and I'm going to do that again anyway to show you. So don't stress about it. Just do it here now if you're asked to do so. Once that's all out of the way and you're at the screen where I am now, push the home button to bring up the action menu, and then go down to scripts. Now you want to go down to set up CTR NAND Luma 3DS and select this. Push A, 
A again. Now you're going to have to enter the key combination that says left, up, left, right, A for me. It'll be different for you. Once it's finished, push A. Push A again to relock the light right permissions. And we're done for that one. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to bring up the home menu again. Go down to scripts and select clean up SD card. And let this run. Once it's done, push A to continue, then push start to reboot. Okay, once it reboots, go into settings. Go into other settings, date and time, today's date. Reset today's date accordingly. Mine is actually correct. Then go to current time. Reset the current time accordingly. Mine is currently correct. And exit back out of the menu. Okay, now if you wish to use uh, themes, you would have had actually some, some themes are installed in the package. If you use the Luma installer, you'll have a couple of themes installed. So if you want to utilize those, if you uh, activated that setting in the Luma configuration menu earlier, just go into the theme settings here. And let it do this. You just choose a random theme. The reason we did it is so that it created that theme management information. Because now that that's been created, we can go and use this program here, Anemone. And you'll find that you actually have a couple of themes here already installed. So we can go, this one here, hold a normal install, and let it install our theme. Beautiful. So that theme will now look like this. It's a little spacey theme. Another one that's provided is this. This is a theme I made myself for a cartoon show that I used to like when I was younger. I still do like it. Called Invader Zim. Um, it's just an example of a theme so you know what to how they work. Anyway, so from there, once you've installed your theme, if you push the start button, it will reset the console, or power off the console rather. And it will power the console back on. and you can now see your theme has been installed. Same with splash screens, you can do those through that menu as well. In fact, I'll show you that quickly while we're here, as a couple of splash screens were also installed as part of the, uh, using the Luma installer. So you open up this, push the left bumper, these are now the splash screens. Um, most of these splash screens I actually wrote myself as well, these top ones anyway. Uh, the bottom ones I didn't. I didn't do this or anything below here, just the top four. So uh, we'll just go about the pervert because I find it funny. Install that. There we go. So same thing. Now if you just exit out of this and just restart the console. Provided you activated the splash screen setting earlier, it'll now load like this with the splash. There we go. That's it. You now have Luma 3DS installed on your console. Now because you've got it installed on 11.8, if you have, then you're going to need to follow this next guide here of how to install games onto your console also, because you can't use FreeShop on this, you're going to get yourself banned. So let's power down the console, we're going to revert back to the PC, and we're going to continue on from there. Oh, we're going to put the SD card back into the PC. Okay, now with the SD card reinserted back into the computer, you can select any games you have from your list, select finish, and it'll copy them straight across to the card. But when you get this program, it'll only have the one game installed called Trash Pack, which is just used as my little demo here. No other games will be here. So how do you add more games to your list? Well, if you have games downloaded already, you can navigate to the folder this way and navigate to them, but they have to be stored in a certain manner in order for this program to find them correctly. So if you were to go Luma Installer, open file location to wherever you've installed the program to, and navigate to its games folder, which is this one right here. This is why I've included Trash Pack as a demo, just so you can see how to store the games. Okay. Now, you'll see it's whatever the folder name here is, is whatever it's going to be called in the list here. Now, what I can say show you here is this is where I've got my games installed into this folder here. Okay. So, as you can see, the folder attack on Titan. That's what it's called here, Attack on Titan. Now, if I was to rename this folder, Attack on Titan, to 
attack on T. Let it rename. Okay, now if I also close this and then relaunch it, you'll see now that the game's called Attack on T in my list. Okay, because it's just reading it from here. So whatever you name it here is what it's going to appear as in the list. And from there, you just drop the CIA file for that game into the folder. It doesn't have to be named any specific way. It can be called whatever, as long as it's the CIA file and as long as this folder is named what you want it to be called in this list. So I'm going to rename mine now back to Attack on Titan, because Attack on T does look a little bit silly. And then if I was to relaunch Luma Installer, you will now see it's back to Attack on Titan. Okay, so for the purpose of this, I'm going to install a game. Now I'm going to choose New Super Mario Bros. 2 because I know this game is relatively small and won't be so long to copy and install, etc. for the purpose of the video. So let's go make sure we are on the right setting, by the way, onto the Copy Games setting. Select the game we are after. And finish. Okay, so now it's now copying the game. Now this will take a little bit of time because, well, it is a small game, but it's still big enough that it's going to take a little bit to copy. And my computer being what it is, <laughs> I'm not very wealthy, so I can't afford a very good computer here, so i just got to work with what I have. Anyway, as I said, you can add any other games to this list, but the, the trick to it is this program won't copy games any larger than about three and a half, four gig. That biggest, that bigger file has a single file, the SD card won't like it anyway, so you're going to have trouble copying a file that big anyway. You would want to use FreeShop for games any bigger than that, like Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, that sort of stuff. This program won't copy them properly. Um, if you have a copy of the game, you can use God Mode 9 to rip it to the console, to the SD card, and then from there you can install it, that will work. But using this program, it generally doesn't copy properly. And you can't use FreeShop on 11.8, to the best of my knowledge. You, apparently, you will get banned. So once the game or games have copied to your SD card, then it's all complete. Remove the SD card from the computer, and let's go back to the console. Okay. With the SD card reinserted once again back into the console, power it back on. Wait for it to load. Now navigate your way to FBI and load that. Once FBI loads, it's the same as earlier. Go to SD card, CIAs, current directory, install and delete all CIAs, and push A. Let's wait for this to continue. As you can see, it's now installed on the game that we chose, New Super Mario Bros. 2, but if we put more in there, it would install them all in sequence, as it did earlier with the files you saw earlier. I'm not going to cut the footage until the end of this, and I'll recommence once this is closer to complete. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost complete now. There we go, it's finished. Push OK. You just push B to get out of there. Push Start to exit. And a new game will appear on your list. So we go here to unwrap it. There's our new game. As you can see, it loads fine. Now, when it asks you about spot pass, all right, always say cancel. Don't activate spot pass because you are using custom firmware. You don't want it to share any information at all. You don't want any way to get caught. So just go to no. The game still works just fine. You can go online and play online as long as you don't use free shop on 11.8. Uh, you should be fine from there. Anyway, there we go. That's it.